These are beating heart cells. When iPS cells are grown with special reagents, they transform into heart cells after about 10 days and begin pulsating. With the cooperation of Osaka University, NHK captured these images with a specially developed HK Ultra High Definition Camera. The 33 megapixels create a vivid image. Ba-boom, ba-boom, ba-boom. The beat of a human heart. Captivating, like a pulsating work of art. For comparison, here is a video that Osaka University previously used for heart cell research. The difference is striking. These are iPS cells after one day of growth. You can see a little bit of movement among the cells. Even the researchers present were startled. This is remarkable. It's, oh, it's moving. That's amazing. To be able to see the dynamics of cell division is very exciting. The challenge this time was to capture the exact moment when the heart cells start beating, something even the researchers themselves haven't witnessed. Nine days in, the neighboring cells are already beating, but this long, narrow cell is a slow starter. Watch it very closely. Here it comes. There. It just started moving. And as you watch, it continues contracting every 20 seconds. It's a slow but steady pulse. Here it is again. We asked Professor Sawa his impression. No, I hadn't seen this before. The microscopes we've used haven't been able to capture a pulse this distinctly. I mean, you clearly saw the onset of motion. It was just like life. Like the moment life is born, the very moment a life begins like a first gasp for air. Viewing these HD images, Professor Sawa even made a discovery. Until now, it was believed that heart cells derived from iPS cells were not fully mature. Regenerative medicine specialists thought that heart cells wouldn't grow to full maturity until the sheets of heart tissue were grafted onto a patient's heart. But the images revealed otherwise. What can you see in these images? The groupings in this area, the many cells with rounder nuclei, pulsating as a group, these aren't mature yet. The more elongated shapes you see down here, these cells are reaching maturity. We thought that because we're inducing the cells to differentiate, they might not fully develop. But some of these, the number of developed cells is increasing rapidly. Even the immature cells are developing gradually. But do these iPS-derived heart cells really have the structures of regular heart cells? Using the 8K camera to inspect, the longer vertical muscle-like structures here are known as myofibrils, which make up the muscle fibers. And the ladder-like structures here are known as sarcomeres. 
The sarcomere structures shown here in fluorescent red usually require a special microscope to be seen. But with the 8K camera, they can be seen without the fluorescent coloring. Wow, that's really amazing. I can't believe my eyes. You can see the myofibrils, and the sarcomeres especially are so clear. I didn't imagine it was possible to see sarcomeres so clearly. It's fantastic. The 8K camera used together with a microscope can tell us more than ever about the expanding world of IPS cells and the heart cells made from them. Isn't that 8K ultra high definition video incredible? Professor Sawa, you seemed impressed with the microscope images in high definition video. How do you feel seeing them again? Well, it's revolutionary. It lets us see the microscopic world in a way that was never possible before. I have a feeling video like this will bring about new scientific discoveries. Thank you very much, Michelle, for a big report on a microscopic discovery. My pleasure.